Hi guys, it's Tao from Shine Bright Design and today I'm introducing my pencil brand substitution wheel. So I've been designing this for six months now and I finally have something hard copy to list and provide on Etsy. I'll also be listing some blank wheels so that if you have any other brand that you like, say it's a Profuna or it's a Color It or um, any of those other brands that you can get on eBay or AliExpress that I don't that I haven't done a wheel for, you can um, create your own. So the way these wheels work is I've colored uh, the wheels in with brands that I have that I know are very popular and are high quality. So the purpose of these type of wheels is you're doing a tutorial or you like a pencil colour that someone's using that you've watched online but you can't afford that pencil for whatever reason or you want to find a similar pencil colour that you could substitute with. So this is a substitution wheel that I've designed. Now the basic function of these wheels are you have the outer wheel which is generally the wheel that you have colored or generally the pencil brands that you have at home whether it is a Faber Castell, a Crayola, um, a, Brufer, a Brufuna, I think that's how you pronounce it or a Color It. So you could color um, whether it's 72 or it's 120 or 150 I'll provide blanks with those with those um, amount of color it um, coloring blocks so that you can fill them in and so the basic function of this is that you gradiate it from the center outwards and that way when it matches along with the inner wheel which is a brand that is a high quality that you may not own but you want to create a piece of work and follow a tutorial um, the same way but you don't know what colors would match so for example this Arteza is the inner wheel and this outer wheel is the Faber-Castell. Okay, so let's say we are looking for a colour that is similar to six o two. So six o two the closest thing to six o two is either a one seven zero, right? 170 or a 717. Now, from what I can see, is the 717 is more of a blue tone, where the 602 is more of a yellow tone. So your closest match to the 602 Arteza is probably the 170 in terms of pigment combinations. Now, they're not going to be exactly the same, um, but they'll be very close. So it could help with doing. <coughs> So I'm going to go through my wheels one by one and compare the colours between the two uh, substitutions. So this, real, this wheel really works if you already have the pencils on hand. So for example, if you are watching a whole binds tutorial and you want to do it in a different brand for whatever reason because you like, you just feel like these are your preferred pencils at the moment or you want something a bit softer or harder or you just want to mix it up so um, I do because I have designed these wheels to also have the colored in versions of the pencil brands for those who don't have those pencils available um, you do have that option and you can just print it on a really good inject printer or you can take it to a really good printer to get printed um, it's A4 document, so printing an A4 coloured piece of paper would be really cheap. And most of the professional printers um, do have digital CMYK, which is very accurate to what it is on the digital screen. So it would be very good. Now, if you guys are interested in me outsourcing the pr printed um, wheels, I would like you guys to comment below, show me your interest, and if there is a big interest for it, I will have these professionally printed and then I can have it mailed to your doorstep. So, let's pick up the first wheel that I have. This is a Holbein's to Karen Dash substitution wheel. 
So I'm going to choose a unique color and it's going to be a brown. This one is this one is OP198, which is a Holbein brand. And if we find a similar color, we're probably looking at a Caran Dash 025. Now, let's just get those two pencils and just color them side by side. So the Holbein's 0195 is a very olive brown, right? The Caran Dash one is 025 is very similar in tone as well but it's probably more yellow toned now when you are coloring as long as you have something in similar tonal um, tonal colors you'll be able to achieve similar outcomes of like whatever fo tutorial you're following so these wheels are made to find you a close substitute for what is on screen that the artist is suggesting to something that you have on hand at home. Now let's go with another brand. Here I have, by the way, all these wheels will have the brand color codes. Some of these wheels that I have at the moment don't because these are my demo ones that I have used to design these, but on Etsy they'll be available with the pencil color code on them. So, for example, if we go with, for example, if we look for a red, this is this is the Prismacolor inner wheel versus the Caran d'Ache Luminance outer wheel. Now, the Caran d'Ache doesn't have that much colors in general. It's a 72 wheel, uh, and you may have 72 pencil brands. Like, I know Color It does a 76 number or 72 number so you could use a blank of the 72 wheel so if I had to spin the Prismacolor in a wheel so it would be the these two colors would be uh, actually it's probably more red toned so I'm thinking here which is which is these reds. Now I've already picked them out, right? And you can see on screen, they're really similar in color. These two colors are the 925 in the Prismacolor and the 589 in the Luminance. Now if we swatch these side by side, Luminance versus the Prismacolor. One is a bit cooler than the other, but they're very similar. Now, because you're comparing against a luminance, which is, uh, it's, there's not that much, there's not that much choice with the luminance pencils. But, if you're doing, following a tutorial, you can juice for something similar. Now, the next one I'm going to choose is... The Holbein pencils versus the Prismacolors. Now, I want to swatch the fluorescent colors. So, the Holbein, this pink here, I'm going to swatch against the Prismacolor pink, which is the 1036. So, if we swatch the 10, sorry, it's actually 10338. The 1038 versus the 720. These fluorescents are almost so similar, they're so similar that um, it wouldn't be that much of a difference anyway. The next color that I'm choosing is the Arteza Wheel versus Holbein's. So I want to go with an orange, right? And this is... So if we go with orange, which is this one... So with the 
This is the 048 and the Prisma, the, the Arteza, sorry this is an Arteza wheel. The Arteza orange is a 9113. So the Arteza orange versus the Holbein's orange. Again, very similar, very similar, very close, very close in colours. So the next brand I want to choose is a Prismacolor versus a Faber-Castell. Now the colour that I want to choose is a pink of some sort. Now I'm thinking Faber-Castell 124 versus the Prismacolor 929. Let's leave that on the side. So the 124 and the 929. Again, similar as well. One is probably cooler, the other is probably a bit warmer, but very slightly though. But they're very similar in colour. Now, this one is a Faber Castell versus. Holbein's Will. And I've already chosen the colours that I'm swatching. So the 024, the 024 versus the 130. Yes. So let me show you. So these two colours, if we just zoom in. Now I want to zoom in and show you this on screen. Okay, so the two colours that I am comparing is the FC130 versus the OP024, right? So, remember, one is actually the pencil and the other is inkjet printed. Now, if you had this, if you had all these pencil brands, the best, comp the best comparison is to actually colour it physically for an accurate for an accurate match. But something just as accurate is the inkjet printing or the professional printing. Now, because they look on screen, they will look slightly different, but in person, they are very, very close. And even on screen, they look very, very close. So, let's see how it is on paper. So, with the 024, We're going to swatch the whole line first, and with the 130 in the Faber Castell, we're going to swatch it side by side. And they're very similar. One is just probably a bit more colder than the other. So what I mean by cold is it's got a cooler tone, so it's probably got a bit more blue than the other, but it's very close and similar. Alright, so the last wheel I'm going to show you is Arteza versus Faber Castell. Now I want to choose probably a green. So I'm going to choose. Um, so I'm going to try and get the zero, the Arteza six two zero, and then the Faber Castell one seven one. They're very similar in green, and it's probably the closest match you're going to get when it comes to the pencil brands. Some of these brands have more of a yellow tone green and a blue tone. So it really depends. You never want to get an exact substitute, but you can get something really close. So, so what you want to do, what I'm doing right now is swatching a 171, which is the Faber-Castell, and then next to it is the Arteza 626. 602 and they're probably the closest you're going to get in terms of colors but that's only going that's because I've done a hard pass now remember you're not going to always do a hard pass when you're doing a tutorial sometimes the artist will tell you just do a light shade now if you do a light shade
it's not that bad it's pretty close so the reason why I've designed these so that it gradiates from the center the center of where the wheels match and versus out is so that you can see from its lightest point with his with each other that they could be a close match because most of the time well not most of the time but sometimes in art instead of doing a hard pass of the color sometimes you just do a light shade and if you're doing a light layer of a color it's not going to cause that dramatic and that of a dramatic change it will be enough to get you to follow through with the tutorial and um, you know and you can still enjoy the creation that you output in the end so guys I have done these wheels it came to me it came like I had the idea not long ago about these and I didn't know if they would be of use so I thought I would do a video experiment on them to see if people would find them of interest. Now by the time this is live I will have listed this on my Etsy store very cheaply um, and it will be digital format so that my viewers can download and print it themselves and if there is interest for hard copy prints um, in the comments of this video, I will look into doing a, a I guess like a, um, a print printing a print service and mail to your door. So I'm also going to include in this package the coloured version, um, the the labelled versions. So the ones, the um, the blank wheels with the labelled pencil numbers. And then the colored wheels that I've already colored with the pencil numbers, as well as blank wheels with no numbers, in case you're doing pencil brands that um, I have not used. So I've used majority of all the major pencil brands. So I have the Artezas, I got the Holbeins, I have the Prismacolor, the Caran d'Ache Luminance, the Caran d'Ache Pablos and the Faber Castell Polychromas as well. I think that's all that I have used. Um, but I thought that I would showcase this with you guys and I thought it would be something interesting for people to use as a tool. I will list this very cheaply on my Etsy store, even though I've been working on it for over, over probably over a year to six months, I don't know. But it's taken me so long to put these together because they are very time consuming and hopefully by the time this is up you guys will have a look and see if you are interested. Um, anyway guys, thank you for watching my video um, and thank you for uh, look, watching and I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions comment below and if you want just check out my other content as well. Um, I do a lot of YouTube tutorials and some other um, flip throughs and product reviews and stuff like that. It's Tao from Shine Bright Design. Be you, be true and shine bright. Bye.